Thanks to Darwin and a few finches, we've all heard about natural selection. That's the key mechanism to evolution. In a nutshell, natural selection pressures like predators or the reluctance of females to mate with lower quality males causes individuals with certain traits in a population to prosper. They produce offspring and continue to pass down those traits. But are humans inadvertently driving evolution in other species? That's what a lot of new research is pointing to. Mounting evidence shows human control has led to animals and plants that differ genetically from their ancestors. Actions like commercial fishing, hunting, along with the use of pesticides and antibiotics are leading to dramatic evolutionary changes in a process called artificial selection. And a lot of it comes down to how much power we have as humans to choose flavor and size when it comes to our food. Take fishing. Larger fish are usually the ones that are targeted in commercial fishing. That means smaller fish are the ones left behind. And it's the smaller fish that are contributing their genes to the future populations. In other words, the genes for smallness prosper while genes for largeness are selectively removed by fishing. Not only have scientists witnessed the fish evolving to be smaller over generations, but they're also evolving to become sexually mature at a younger age. The sooner you can lay and fertilize eggs before you get bigger, the better chance you have of reproducing. Atlantic cod that used to be several meters long are now only a meter or so. And that in itself has major repercussions for the food chain. Large cod used to be top predator, but now they're serving as prey because of their reduced size. Here's another Canadian example. Bighorn sheep living in Alberta are also victims of artificial evolution. Through natural selection, big males with big horns can fight successfully against other males and thereby mate with far more females than the smaller males. But trophy hunters pay big bucks to hunt and they are after the biggest and most impressive males. Suddenly the advantages of being big are countered by an even bigger disadvantage. That would be being shot and mounted. Researchers from the University of Alberta are noticing more smaller horn males because the larger horn males are being removed. When we fish and hunt, we aren't acting like natural predators. We are relentless, ruthless, efficient, super predators taking out the biggest and best. At a global scale, we're causing climate change that imposes further selection pressures that we don't fully understand yet. Scientists are now working on evolutionary, sustainable management plans for harvested resources. How's that for food for thought? And now, you're science smart. If you've got a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.